How is the Welsh Government supporting live music and entertainment venues? I thank the Member for that. Uh, so with Creative Wales works with the commercial music sector, providing support for grassroots venues, rehearsal spaces, recording studios and others. This has included sponsoring events at Welsh venues and direct funding, totalling over £9 million since launching in 2020. Uh, Live music and entertainment venues are important cultural establishments in our towns and cities, with none more important than West Wales' finest, the Queen's Hall in Narbeth. Now, while it's no secret that you'll soon have a little more free time on your hands, Prevenidog, what the colleagues in this chamber may not be aware of is that you've actually been in the audience at the Queen's Hall in Narbeth watching and uh, correct me if I'm wrong, calendar girls. Uh, now, Narbeth's Queen's Hall has welcomed a number of big names in its 65-year history, from Elton John to uh, Wales's finest Goldie-looking chain. And according to the Music Venue Trust, live entertainment venues annually contribute just over £24 million to the Welsh economy. But with the average profit margin in the sector at only 0.5%, many venues Venues reported a financial loss in 2023. So, along with enjoying performances from the audience, what further support is the Welsh Government providing to venues such as the Queen Hall to guarantee their survival? Uh, well, thanks, Sam Kurtz, for that important question. I think I need to be uh, clear that it was a live performance of Calendar Girls, uh, <laughs> featuring some very brave uh, artists. Uh, I thought. Anyway, it's uh, <laughs> <laughs> Not my only visit uh, to the hall, and I hope to be there again, uh, of course. Look, I, I share uh, much of what Sam Kurt said in that follow-up question. So it, it's really important that we have live music venues here in Wales. The industry is under pressure. We know that. Some of the ways in which we will look to go on supporting it is through the MVT's campaign asking for an industry-led approach to a small sum being added to the price of a ticket at successful venues to be redistributed to support grassroots uh, music venues. The, uh, the MVT is very clear that he wants it to be industry-led uh, rather than a government initiative. And we've seen a recent example of this in Wales with a Swansea Arena event in February that raised £10,000 that is then being distributed to support those grassroots venues. While the industry is under pressure, it is important to say that more new live music venues opened in Wales last year than were closed. Uh, and we must take some, uh, com some confidence from the fact that we do have such a vibrant and committed sector here in Wales. Hedges. Thank you, Deputy Presiding Officer. Uh, <clears throat> firstly, I want to highlight the success of Bunk House in Swansea in providing live music. Uh, the rent for music venues has gone up by 37.5% on average. A rate cut will only lead to a la further large increase in rents. This is where the pressure on music venues is coming from. It's coming from the rents that are being charged. I'm glad the First Minister supports the idea of, of a sector levy, and uh, I, I, I hope that he'll do everything, everything to get his successor to also add, add to the pressure on having that uh, that. that uh, Levy, levy, because it's incredibly important. A small amount on a ticket can make, mean an awful lot when it's so, so many tens of thousands are sold in order to help smaller venues. Uh, will, will the First Minister join me in congratulating the Swansea Arena in adding a levy? And will he say he'd like all the other venues which are run by local authorities and other public sector to do the same? Uh, well, uh, I thank uh, Mike Hedges very much for that. Uh, Personally, I agree quite strongly with his first point, that uh, sometimes in this area you can think you are doing something that benefits the venue itself, only to find that all you've actually done is put money in the pockets of landlords who uh, charge those rents to the venues uh, in the first place. Uh, one of the things that has happened in Wales recently is the Welsh Government has established a new set of music stakeholder groups. And one of the issues on the agenda for discussion at those groups is this idea of an industry-wide levy. Now, at the moment, I think there are some just very early signs of that idea beginning to take hold. What we need, though, is a more 
planned and comprehensive approach to it that doesn't rely on the motivation of individual venues to do the right thing. We need a more comprehensive approach to it so that the industry is better able to uh, use the resources that are generated in very large uh, measure in this industry, but a small part of those resources are recycled to support live music in community venues and develops the artists who will be the prominent and successful artists of the future.